these are the various infections that can be transmitted also that can lead to further compromisation of health of the patient. So, these are basically the complications that can occur. And how do you treatment these complications when they occur in a patient of thalassemia uh, when they have uh, got a blood transfusion? See, uh, for uh, iron overload, uh, we can chelate. There are a number of iron chelators which are available. Previously, there were the deferoxamine, then there was an oral, oral iron chelator that was L1 that again now we have a new iron chelator which has come which is also which is very effective. So, iron chelator will actually take uh, will uh, kind of mop up the excess of iron and we keep monitoring this using the serum ferritin. You would like to keep the serum ferritin to um, less than 1000 if possible that is ideal and uh, one can do this. Despite all this, the only absolute cure would be a transplantation and I think we will have our people talking on transplantation as well. That is like a cure for uh, thalassemia. Is there any risk of infection also like uh, HIV type of uh, risk and uh, should medical students take any special precautions to get rid of uh, thalassemia or anemia or anything else? See, HIV I said is a very common risk. It, it is certainly a risk and the way one can do away with this is that do uh, very stringent uh, analysis of the blood before giving it. Um, make sure that it is HIV free before it is given to a patient. So, that is what one would want to keep. The other thing the student can do, he has to be very careful all patients multiple transfuse, double gloves have to be worn and you have to make sure that uh, you are not actually coming in contact with the blood of these patients. Regarding HBS, uh, hepatitis vaccines are available, hepatitis vaccines can be taken, they do give some degree of immunity. So, these kind of precautions students should, should students should always wear double gloves especially when handling multiple transfused uh, patients that is important. What is suggestions would you like to give our medical students uh, in lab approach to anemia? Um, I would like to first say that they should be able to uh, ha have access to a correctly performed hemoglobin which is accurate and which they can rely upon. Then they should be able to quickly look at the peripheral smear and if possible they should be able to assess the red cell morphology and the associated major findings on a peripheral smear. If a medical student can get access to hemogram and uh, good peripheral smear, I think 80 percent of his work will be done. The uh, higher quality specialized tests are not always available everywhere. So, for that student can always refer, but a lot of diagnosis he will be able to pick up if he has access to a hemogram and a good peripheral smear examination. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Renu Saxena, whatever you have told us in our today's program, how would you like to sum up today's program in brief? Um, I would like to say that uh, anemia is the commonest uh, symptom seen in our medical practice today. And it is important for diagnosis of anemia to have a good peripheral smear and marrow examination if, re if required. And it is very important to have a correct diagnosis of anemia because there is a varied etiology of anemia and uh, so you should be able to manage the anemia as per the diagnosis. Thank you very much Dr. Renu Saxena. Uh, viewers, uh, uh, this is teleconferencing program and they, it was the first session of our, of our today's program. The topic of today's program's of first session was lab approach to anemia and our expert was Dr. Renu Saxena who is a professor and head of the department of hematology or India Institute of Medical Sciences. If you want to ask any queries in our next session which will be on 3.30 uh, today, uh, you can use our phone lines. Our numbers are 29 Five three two eight four four and two nine five three two eight four five. The uh, viewers who are outside from Delhi, they can uh, use uh, zero double one as our STD code, and uh, you sh you can use our toll free number also. That is one eight zero zero one one two three four five. Our next session will be at three thirty, and the topic will be refractory anemia. We will have in that session Dr. Har Prasad Pati as our expert, who is a professor in Department of Hematology, All India Institute of Medical Sciences. If you want to 
have the DVDs of today's program or any other teleconferencing programs, you can contact National Board of Examination and to download the forms from our web website, you can visit our website. The website is www.netboard.edu.in. That is www.netboard.edu.in. This program is jointly conducted by Indira Gandhi National Open University and National Board of Examination. We will be back at 3.30. Keep watching.